Thank you for tuning in again. I will be teaching you how to do this fiery, smoky look with this wing liner and this nude lip that I'm obsessed with. It's my first time using it. So if you wanna see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Look at this mug with no makeup on. I already have my moisturizer, my eye cream, but I'm going to moisturize some more with the LC Glow Enhancer. This product right here, I am obsessed with for when I am super dry and with this weather in New York, I feel like this oil is the only thing that makes my skin not feel dry and tight. So I've been using this every day before I apply my makeup to just give me a nice glow, but also to make me feel like I can actually move my face and not feel so tight and dry. Today I'll be using the LC Micro Silk Foundation. They were out of stock for about a year and it's officially back. This is one of my favorite foundations ever. The consistency, the texture, the coverage. I would say it's a light to medium coverage, but you can build it up to full coverage. So it's perfect for someone who wants all of the above. Like if you love full coverage foundation, from the moment that it lays on your face, then this is not your friend. This is a light to medium coverage and you can build it up to full coverage. But to build it up to full coverage, it takes some time because you have to do a layer and then do another layer. I would say I do about three pumps of this foundation. It's not exactly the same color as my skin, but that's because this foundation you can only really buy online or at Namie's in LA. And I don't live in LA, so this foundation is hard to match because you have to match it just by looking at it online. I use the shade Vanilla. I know I look crazy right now with no makeup on, but I promise you it will be so much better in a little bit. This Beauty Blender by Elsie is, it just finishes your face so fast. It finishes your makeup in like two seconds. I love that this Beauty Blender has the middle part that's um, tinier so you can just grab onto it and not get your fingers dirty. And this is the part that I use for the whole face. The thin tip I use for the concealer underneath. For concealer, I'll be using my two favorite concealers, Shape Tape by Tarte. I use the color Light Medium Honey and Light Neutral. If I use just one or the other, I feel like it's not right. It's not quite right. Then I'll be dipping the same sponge on the Peach Perfect Translucent Powder by Too Faced to set the concealer. As you guys know, I don't really bake. I just set the concealer. I don't put any extra product. Just blending out the other eye. I just use enough powder to set the concealer. I just feel like when I bake, I tend to get really dry under my eyes and really cakey looking, like really wrinkly. So I usually avoid baking. Now I'm taking the Luminous Face Powder by Erlactic in the color Light for all over my face to set my foundation. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics brush in number one. With this powder, I'm setting the whole face. You always wanna make sure that you set your foundation so that your foundation lasts all day. I'm meeting a few friends for dinner and every time I decide to film, before I have to go somewhere, I feel like I feel so rushed. Even though I don't have to be at dinner for another three hours, I feel like when I film, I wanna take my time. Like if I wanna stop and go make some tea, I wanna be able to do that. I love this powder because it's not matte and it's not dewy. It has like the perfect mineralized kind of finish. So it gives a glow to the skin while it's setting the makeup. And what do you guys think of these curls? Just wait till you see it with, when I take the headband off. I always have to wear a headband when, I, when I'm doing my makeup. 
I need all the hair away from my face. And then I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Beauty Tantastic Omega Bronzer, which is this gigantic thing here. And um, it's ridiculously expensive, so you don't have to use this. You can use any other bronzer, but this is what it looks like. So this is what I'll be using. And the brush that I'm using to bronze my face is the Lashy Licious C101. You guys always know that I pretty much only use powder products to contour my face. I don't really do cream contour, like ever. I feel like if you can achieve a bronzy contoured look without creamy products, why not just do powder? Why do the cream and then the powder? That's just extra steps. This bronzer, like, look at how bronzy and beautiful this just made my skin look. Yes, honey, yes. Okay, now I'll be using my favorite blush, Mint For You Collection by Dose of Colors, Amazement, and it's just this nice, peachy color. It actually looks darker on camera than what it is in person. And it has a little bit of gold flex. That's why I love it, because it makes my cheeks look like I have a highlighter on, even in the blush area. Same brush that I use for my bronzer, I'm using for my blush. So I pretty much like to apply my blush right on top of the contour. And then for highlight, I'm gonna be using this really expensive, sorry guys, but you can use any highlighter. It is the Burberry Number no. 4 Rose Gold. And I talked about this in my favorites video. It's just been a favorite of mine. You can use even a NYX drugstore highlighter. It doesn't have to be an expensive highlighter. Moving on to my eyes, I'll be using the usual Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. And I'll also be using the Sassy Sienna's palette by Dose of Colors. I'm pretty much going to be using all those colors on that palette. I want to talk about your dolphin. You guys, it's really crucial to apply eyeshadow base all over the lid. If you don't, your eyeshadow is not going to last all day. Your eyeshadow is not going to look vibrant. It's going to fade throughout the day. You want to make sure you're always priming your eyes. I'll be using a Sigma Medium Sweeper Brush in E54. And I'm going to pick up the first color. Then I'm taking the second color here to apply as the transition color. I'm using the LCE1 blending brush. Blending and applying at the same time. At the same damn time. I just love peachy colors. I could say, I could easily say peach, peachy colors, even clothing. Like in the summer, I wear a lot of peachy colored clothes. So when I'm applying this transition color, I'm pretty much sweeping back and forth from the outer corner of the eye. When I reach this area of the outer corner right here, I usually go in circular motion, and then as I'm bringing it to the middle part of the crease and the inner corner part of the crease, I go in windshield wiper motion, like so. So I posted a, a 10 second clip on Instagram earlier, and the song of the song in the background is a Chris Brown song and now it's stuck in my head. Baby, you're the truth. I want to talk about your heaven. I'm so connected to you. You guys, the process of makeup is so ugly. Like, why is the process of makeup ugly? I just want to know that. Can someone answer that for me? I use this palette actually when I went out recently and I loved it, but I, I was rushing when I went out that day. So I didn't get to film this video. And 
As you could see on this palette, uh, there's no highlight brow bone color. Then I'm going to pick up Orb by MAC with an LCE2 brush. And let's do this brow highlight. By the way, I, I know I told you guys that I would tell you how I feel about the new LC brushes and I'm obsessed, love them all. To deepen the eyes so it doesn't look like just one blob of orange, I'm going to use this middle color right here. Now I'll be using the Smith 247 brush to apply that color. I'm gonna apply that color pretty much on the outer corner right here. Bring it up to the crease. Right underneath the transition color. This is not gonna cover the transition color, this is going to be just underneath it. Filming is not easy, you guys. You have to make sure that you're centered, you have to make sure that your mic is on, you have to make sure that your camera is not dying on you, all while explaining every little step that you're doing. You don't want to forget to mention what brushes you're using. You know, like they say, if, if it was easy, everyone would do it. These are the two colors that I'll be using to darken the crease. Whenever I want to darken the crease, I first stamp the majority of the eyeshadow in place, and then I go and blend the darker shade. That's my method, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I have the ugliest laugh. I either laugh like a hyena, <laughs> or I have like that really uncomfortable sounding laugh, like mm -hmm. I don't know. I admire people that have like sexy or cute laughs. That's never been me, and it will never be me because your laugh is your laugh. Like, you can't really change your laugh. If you change your laugh, you're being fake. You know what I'm saying? I always keep like a fan brush around so I can fan off any um, product that's fallen. Now I'm gonna be using NC15 and W20 Chromographic Pencil by MAC, the usual. If you follow me or if you see my favorites video, you know this is what I use for the waterline. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My neighbors upstairs walk around like they're elephants. They don't sound like humans, they sound like elephants. And then I'm using Teddy Pencil by MAC for the bottom lash line. Then I'm taking the LC E3 pencil brush and what I'll be doing is I'll be using this color right here Teddy already added that depth because Teddy is brown and I'm using this um, burnt brown kind of shade on top just to smoke it out. Whenever I smoke the bottom lash line, I always try to bring it out to like a little wing so that the bottom lash line blends with the outer corner of the eye and everything kind of just blends seamlessly. Now using a clean brush, to blend out the outer corner. I'm going to do a wing with these Ico Magic Black Magic Fell Tip Liner. Has been quite a favorite of mine, so shake it up really well, and I'm going to try to do this wing liner on camera. I didn't intend for this eyeliner to be this thick, but I made a little mistake. I feel like this eyeliner makes it a little easier to do a wing liner so if you feel like you have a tough time doing a wing liner I highly suggest this eyeliner. Now I'll be using the Velvet Noir Black Mascara by Marc Jacobs Beauty. I love this mascara because it really coats my lashes. It makes them so black and thick and long. It doesn't make them clumpy. And this is one of the few mascaras where I only really need one coat. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the other eye and I'm gonna do my brows off camera because my brows are always the same. 
in every video I do my brows the same, so I don't wanna waste time and waste you guys' time. And I'll be right back. I'll be using Hypnotic by Morphe. These lashes I've worn a couple of times, love them so much, so I'll be wearing them again today. The good thing about re-wearing fake lashes is they're already cut, like I've already cut them the first time that I, like the first time I measured my eyes, I already cut them. So now all I'm doing is peeling off some of the glue that's left from last time that I wore them. And then I'm just gonna pop them on. What do you guys think of this eye though? I love it. I hope you do too. I'm just using some Duo in Dark. I buy it at CVS. You wanna make sure you let the glue get a little tacky. I always go from above. It's so pointless to film the lash part on camera because I'm like blocking the view of you guys to see. These lashes are just so, so pretty. Look at them. Look at them compared to my no lashes. I never put mascara on fake lashes, so my lashes don't get ruined. Like my fake lashes, I can wear them for like 20 times and they don't get ruined. You should try it too. For the lips, I'll be using my go-to lip pencil in Nude by Gerard Cosmetics. Pretty much filling in the entire lip with this nude lip pencil by Gerard Cosmetics. Uh, make sure you guys read the description boxes um, on my videos because I put in the discount codes. So you guys, if you use my code Viosa, you will get 30% off any Gerard Cosmetics product. So, and now I'm using this Jouer Lip Gloss Diamond Walk. It's pretty much the same color as the lip liner. Oh, I love this lip gloss. It's just so, so pretty. It's like the perfect nude gloss. And I think it goes perfect with these eyes. Let's take off these clips of my hair. I was using these tiny little clips. Who remembers these little clips? And my hair, just so it's like out of my face. Oh, I, I, I'm loving these curls. The crazy thing is we always want what we don't have. And I always wanted curly hair. So in high school, I actually got a perm to get my hair to look curly. So this reminds me of like junior year in high school. My perm was popping until it looked fried. But yeah, if you guys wanna see a video on how I did this hair, I'll be more than happy to film it, so comment below. And let me know if you wanna see me do a tutorial on this hair, and I'll be more than happy to do. I'll do step-by-step -step on what I used, what curling iron, what product. Wait, let's rewind back to this makeup look. What do you guys think? I love this makeup look. I love this fiery, peachy, orangey eye with this thick winged outliner, and these lashes are just everything. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys' support. I'm having so much fun filming them and I wanna continue filming them. So please don't be shy. Comment on my videos. Let me know what looks you wanna see. I'm, I wanna film what you guys wanna see. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share the video and let your people know about my videos. <sighs> now I'm using the more... <laughs> Ooh, get it, Viosa, get it. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you guys next time.